morning. Uh, today I will talk about uh, Nobel Prize in Economics 2022. Okay, so uh, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award uh, the Riks Bank Prize in Economic Sciences uh, in memory of uh, Alfred Nobel. 2022 goes to uh, Ben S. Bernanke and Douglas W. Diamond and Philip H. Divick and Bernanke from the Brookings Institution U.S. and the Diamond uh, is from University of Chicago and the Philip Divick is from Washington University U.S.A. All the three people from uh, U.S. and particularly their research for uh, research on banks and uh, financial crisis. So this year, Nobel Prize in Economics uh, goes to the people who are working in banking, banking and finance area. All our finance uh, uh, professors, the Laureate's insights have improved our ability to avoid uh, both serious crisis and expensive bailouts. This, why the bank runs happen, uh, the people uh, were afraid of uh, their uh, security uh, afraid of the problems with the uh, security aspect of their money and they will go to the bank and they withdraw they started to withdraw money so after that the bank will be like uh, uh, in crisis and uh, sometimes the bank may be uh, bail out due to the reactions of the over reactions of the people so they do research uh, why this bank run happened and what is the significance of the bank in the financial crisis so uh, we will uh, discuss the in detail uh, in later part of the presentations. So the findings lead to Nobel Prize. So let, let us check the findings lead to Nobel Prize. So Bana, uh, uh, Bernanke and Diamond and Divik have significantly improved our understanding of the role of banks in the economy, particularly during financial crisis. Okay. So the role of banks in the economy and uh, in the financial crisis, actually the two crises, uh, one crisis in 1929 or 1930, that Great Depression and uh, 2008, the global economic crisis. So this Bernanke uh, uh, was uh, in the chair of Federal Reserve during the time of uh, global economic crisis and he was uh, trying to reduce the crisis and uh, to avoid uh, the uh, again there is a great depression uh, which would have happened otherwise uh, without his proper uh, framework of uh, policies so an important findings in their research is why avoiding bank collapses is vital okay so uh, how we can avoid the bank collapses the banks are very significant part of the economy and very significant part of the society. So the cracks of research, the foundations of the research were laid down by Banaki, uh, Diamond and Tivik in the early 1980s. Actually, uh, uh, we can check with their citations and all. They are, uh, they, the old research they were started in, uh, in the year of 1980s. So why do we uh, have banks? So they have explained why do we have banks? and how to make them less vulnerable in crisis, okay? Then how bank collapses exacerbate financial uh, crisis and why banks require to be regulated. So they do answer, these are their research questions. Why do we have banks? How to make them less vulnerable in crisis? How bank collapses exacerbate financial crisis and why banks require to be regulated? So their analysis have been of uh, great practical importance in regulating financial market and dealing with the financial crisis. So these uh, matter were considered by the committee of uh, Nobel Prize and uh, they have awarded uh, these three uh, uh, economists uh, for this year 2022's economic Nobel Prize. So let us check these three, the answer answer of these research questions. So we can, uh, you know, uh, uh, we can make a detailed picture of uh, these two, uh, three eminent fellows. Ben S. Bernanke was born in 1953 in the U.S. and uh, he has taken PhD from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, U.S. And now uh, distinguished senior fellow economic studies, the Brookings Institution, Washington, D.C. 
So Banake is the former Federal Reserve Chair. When the crisis hit, he was one of the essential pieces that prevented it from becoming a depression. That's the major uh, role uh, was played by Banake. Actually, when the crisis hit, actually 2008 crisis, he was one of the essential pieces that prevented it from becoming a depression. Actually, one de depression was passed over in 1929-1930 period. But in 2008, again, there is an economic crisis happened. But this crisis was somewhat prevented by the effort of Bernanke. And he prevented it from becoming a Great Depression. And uh, surprisingly, he was written a book uh, named as The Great Depression. And he was researched uh, what are the factors uh, which created the Great Depression in 1929. So he wrote a, he wrote a book called The Great Depression said understanding that a period is that period is holy grail of macroeconomics so he believed that the understanding about great depression that is uh, 1930 is a holy grail of macroeconomics so he his major part of research uh, in the area of uh, the depression and uh, the, the the predictors of depression and the factors determining the great depression so this is uh, uh, book of uh, Banaki, The Great Depression. Okay, so uh, and there is a theory or model developed by Banaki that is financial accelerator model. So Banaki presented the importance of credit channel for the propagation of the depression. So what what was the origin of depression? What was the origin of bank run? What was the origin of bank failures? He believed that changes in financial and credit conditions are important in the propagation of business cycle a mechanism called financial accelerator. So according to Bernanke, during a severe economic crisis, which resulted in declining output and falling prices, the real debt burden increases, leading to widespread financial crisis among borrowers and lessening their capacity to pledge collateral. So that's a uh, uh, incident uh, happened, uh, actually. Uh, when the financial crisis, economic crisis happens, uh, which results in declining output and falling prices, the real debt burden increases. Okay, the leading to widespread financial distress among borrowers, and they are not able to get uh, loans from banks because of the uh, poor uh, collateral available to them. So the decline in the financial health of potential borrowers during a severe economic crisis impacts the efficient allocation of credit. So the allocation of credit is also problematic and the banks are struggling to allocate credit because of the lack of uh, collateral of the borrowers. A key concept in Benaki's model is the external premium. So he explained the accelerator model uh, with the external premium. Uh, the external premium is which activates the financial accelerator. So the premium is defined as the difference between the, the cost to, to borrow, uh, borrow borrowing money in financial market and opportunity cost of the internal funds. So he explained the premium that is the difference between the cost of borrowing and the opportunity cost of the internal fund. Whether, whether the firm can decide whether to adopt internal funding or the borrowing cost, that difference is known as the external premium. That pre premium uh, which is accelerating uh, the financial accelerator. Okay. So that is the finding of uh, Benaki is, uh, uh, is doing more research in the credit uh, system of the banks and uh, the, the factors which, uh, which disturb the banks during the period of the crisis and that uh, sometimes lead for the bailout of the banks. So this is all uh, about the work of uh, Benaki and uh, you can see that inside the black box, the credit channel of monetary policy transmission. And this is a famous work and uh, which has scored 6,866 citations so far and financial accelerator in a quantity business cycle framework again and the agency cost collateral and business fluctuations should central banks respond to movements in asset prices these are the uh, many works but these are the most prominent work which has got more cited uh, uh, after this uh, it was published and this is the second person that is Douglas W Diamond he was born in 1953 and was taken PhD from uh, Yale University, US in 1980. And uh, uh, 
He was the Martin H. Miller Distinguished Service Professor of Finance, University of Chicago, uh, Booth School of Business, U.S., and developed theoretical models that explain why banks exist and how their role in society makes them vulnerable to their impending collapse. So he was uh, performed his research more on the collapse of the banks and the society's role in collapse of the banks. And uh, he criticized the society, the people, and criticized the banks uh, with regard to their uh, lending policies. Lending policies, uh, and these lending policies uh, have a strong uh, influence on the uh, the crisis and the failure of the banks. Okay, so we can check the uh, the problem the problem part of uh, lending policies of the banks. In later and uh, this is Douglas uh, W. Diamond's famous work and uh, he has got 59,840 citations so far and this about uh, uh, his major work financial intermediation and delegated monitoring bank runs deposit insurance and liquidity liquidity risk liquidity creation and financial fragility a theory of banking moni monitoring and reputation the choice between bank loans and directly placed debt so uh, surprisingly is uh, 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 his significance is revealed in, in terms of the citations he has got 59840 citation okay the next person the third one is uh, philip h divick uh, and was born in 1955 and was taken phd from Yale university again so uh, he's a professor of banking and finance washington university us and he's also developed theoretical models that explain why banks exist and how their role in society makes them vulnerable to their impending collapse. Actually, I would say that uh, the Divik and uh, this uh, Diamond uh, uh, was moving in the same direction, but uh, 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 but Banaki is quite uh, something like different from these two people. Banaki is more researched in credit policies, credit system of the banks, and these two people are uh, more researched in the banks and society aspect. And Philip H. Uh, Divik, uh, this is a Google Scholar, uh, screenshot, and uh, 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 he has got uh, uh, 20,887 citations so far. And this is a major work, bank runs, deposit insurance, and liquidity, uh, and empirical implications of the Cox, uh, Ross theory of terms of structure of interest rate, Differential information and performance measurement using security market line, banking theory, deposit insurance, and bank regulation, mean variance theory of complete market, and capital structure and dividend relevance with asymmetric information. So these are the major work. You can see the citations over here. And so these three fellows uh, has got the Nobel Prize 2022. Okay. Again, uh, we can look on why banks are in crisis as per the views of the Nobel laureates. So for the economy to function, savings must be channeled to investment. However, there is a conflict here. So why the banks are getting funds to uh, funds for the credit? So banks are getting funds from the depositors, like demand deposits. The, the, the time deposit is different. So we have two deposits, the fixed deposits and saving deposit. Saving deposit is also known as demand deposit and fixed deposit is also known as time deposit. So the demand deposit we can withdraw any time. So if any, any rumors like the bank is going to fail, the people uh, go to the ATM or people uh, go to the bank uh, for withdrawing money so that the banks uh, will run. Uh, so th that's a major cause, but, but uh, still the banks are using these demand deposits for financing credit or their major chunk of uh, credit depends on the demand deposit banks. We all, uh, you know, we all have bank accounts, many bank accounts. Some people have five to six bank accounts and every bank accounts we are keeping money. And this money is cost free, I think, uh, cost free so that the bank can uh, lend, uh, a bank can long, a bank can do long term lending. Okay. So, uh, so the problem is here. The economy to function savings must be channeled to investment. However, there is a conflict here. The savers want instant access to their money in case of unexpected outlays. While business and homeowners need to know they will not be forced to repay their loans prematurely. But that's a fact that so the same time we have taken many loans from the banks, but we cannot uh, we will not repay the bank, uh, repay the loans if if the banks call for 
like the prem premature closing of the bank will bank cannot uh, call for a premature closing of the loans but the depositors they will take uh, uh, they will uh, take back their money anytime so if there is a rumors if there is a rumors that the bank is going to fail and the depositors will be afraid of the things of the bank fail and they will, they will go to the bank and they will withdraw the money so that will cause the bank run the bank is going to bail out if a large number of savers simultaneously rent to the bank to withdraw their money, the Rama may become a self-fulfilling prophecy. A bank run occurs and the bank collapses. So these dangerous dynamics can be prevented through the government providing insurance and acting as the lender of last resort to bank. So these are the citations, the theoretical contributions. They said that uh, this problem can be prevented through uh, government providing insurance. And the, the, the insurance is there actually so india has recently started deposit credit <coughs> insurance corporation and there is something like one lakh insurance to the depositors so uh, so the, the suggestion is very significant and if the government is providing assurance to the society or assurance to the people that the, the money is safe so that the bank the people will not go to the bank for uh, taking back the deposits if there is a, any uh, rumors happened so everything is because of uh, this reaction of the people, overreaction of the people. We know that the 2008 crisis also happened due to the uh, overreactions or irrational things of the investors. When there is a failure, they do like selling, they do take back the deposit, etc. That will cause the, that, that was the reason behind uh, the crisis. So these dangers, dynamics can be prevented through the government providing insurance and acting as lender of last resort. The government can only deal with the situation so that the, these bank failures may not happen. So again, the key findings of uh, 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 Diamond and Divik. Uh, so Diamond demonstrated how bank perform a societally important function and acting as intermediaries between many savers and borrowers. Banks are better suited to assessing the borrowers. The banks are the only intermediaries which assess the uh, borrower's credit worthiness and ensuring that loans are used for good investments. So they presented a solution to the bank vulnerability in the form of deposit insurance from the government. As we already pointed out that the deposit insurance uh, uh, will be announced by the government so that that will uh, reduce the vulnerability. So when depositors know that the state has guaranteed their money, they no longer need to rush the bank as soon as Rama start about the bank run. Okay. So uh, they have also developed the theory diamond Divic maturity transformation theory. So diamond and Divic developed theoretical models to uh, explore the role of bank play the economy and the reason for the bank rents. So specifically, they represented they presented a theory of maturity transformation, showing that while using demand deposits to finance long term project is the most efficient arrangement for commercial banks, but leaves them at a risk for bank rents. So they suggested that the bank can use the uh, demand deposit to finance the long-term projects or giving credit, long-term credit. This, this is the most efficient arrangement, but there is a risk that uh, risk for the bank rents. If the bank uh, majorly depends on these source, there will be some crisis. May happen. Many bank experience uh, uh, this problem was caused their bailout. So we believe this arrangement is very beneficial for banks since the banks can take individuals money placed in demand deposits and lend out uh, that money. The Nobel laureates believe that lending money without the consent of uh, individual owners of demand deposits is a valid way of generating monetary liquidity. So this again, uh, this demand deposit uh, in favor of the demand deposit usage says that uh, they believe that the lending money without the consent of the individual so if there is a fixed deposit there is a pre, there is a maturity period but the demand deposit the bank can use the money without the depositor's consent and that will uh, that will uh, improve uh, the monetary liquidity so however this type of lending amounts to unbacked savings lending so lending out of thin air so they uh, they says that this lending is known as the lending uh, out of thin air, but this lending out of thin air sometimes will cause uh, problems to the banks. Sometimes the bank will boom. So we cannot predict 
this landing uh, the policy of lending out of thin air so the so called bank rents resulting from lending out of thin air so they they treated as if the bank uh, heavily depend on lending out of thin air sometimes the bank may be uh, in failure uh, if there is no guarantee by the government uh, uh, in terms of insurance or in terms of uh, security aspect to the uh, people uh, regarding their money is safe so so in indian context we can say that rbi used to recently announced the deposit insurance credit guarantee corporate every bank deposit is insured with the dicgc so the people can say but there is some extent only this insurance will be given but uh, if we deposit more amount uh, so uh, we will not uh, guarantee the bank will not guarantee the government will not guarantee their money so again there is a problematic about uh, the banks are problem if the banks are problematic there is a ramos of failures so bank should be cautious about the ramos okay this is the uh, picture uh, they have given uh, the banks collect money from the people and they use for the infrastructure project long term project and the theory is known as maturity transformation so this theory uh, this picture i have taken from the uh, uh, age and uh, uh and this is the bank run ramo that more depositors are about to withdraw their money than uh, the bank can cope with uh, can become self uh, fulfilling prophecy in the worst case the bank run can lead to the bank collapsing okay so uh, these are uh, this is the ima image uh, which shows the bank run the bank run if the bank run happened the bank may be collapse or bailout so uh, there are suggestions uh, put forward by the eminent economist uh, these three economists uh, to avoid the bank failures they they suggest that the banks are very providing very significant role uh, to the society as well as economy so a bank should be uh, should be capable enough to avoid these ramos so there there are some suggestions the deposit would be uh, insured by the government uh, Uh, so that the people can believe that our money is safe so the government uh, role is very significant uh, in this case of uh, bank run uh, due to uh, the people uh, will demand or will take back the money when there is a ramos okay thank you